Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna talk about how to fix Poppy Blade Time is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loaded screen and even few users end up in having fatal error and even some users end up in having BXGI error, GI error as well. So you can try these steps. First step, we need to do a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon. Go over here and this one do a restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and we have to check. This is what we have to do as the first step. Next one is all about. We need to launch the game from the installation folder, not from the Steam. So right now we are in the Steam. So trying to launch the game from Steam will be causing the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So in order to navigate to the installation folder, we have two methods. One, we have a shortcut from the Steam. Another one, we can use the file explorer. Just go over to the game, right click, go to the properties, go to installed file, and we have to locate where the installation is done. So it is on local disk E, which is around 3.14 GB. So now click on the browse. Now, as you can see, you are redirected to the installation folder. If you check at the top, this PC, new local disk E, Steam library, Steam apps, common, poppy, playtime. Or you can directly close everything over here from the Steam. Go to the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC, go to local disk E, go to Steam library, Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, we have to go to the game that is poppy playtime. Now we have to go to playtime launcher. And here we have the launcher. If you get into the engine, go to the binaries, third party we don't have. Go to the time launcher, go to the binaries Win64. And here, this is the .exe. Now from here, we can launch the game. Instead of launching it from the Steam, launch it from here. Next one, we need to run the game as an administrator and we need to run the game in the compatibility board. So I right click on the .exe, right click over here, go to show more option, properties, go to installer compatibility. Click on run this program in the compatibility mode. Set this to Windows 7. Go for apply, or you can set this to Windows 8. Go for apply. Make sure and click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for OK. Once done, just close this, go back and try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to delete the saved game file. Just go over here in the file explorer. Go to documents and get into my games. So if you find the folder here for Poppy Playtime, delete the respective folder. Keep in mind, when you do this, you'll be losing all the progressions of the game. Next one, we need to close. After deleting the saved game file, we need to close all the USB. If it is connected, for example, if you're using joystick, if you're using any external devices, just unplug all the USB devices. Once everything is unplugged, try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to after trying with this, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here, search for the control panel, click on this one. Now from here, we have to go over here in the system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Scroll down and navigate to Poppy. Over here, keep scrolling down and navigate to P. Poppy Playtime. Make sure you have to put a check on both the boxes private and public. Once it is done, just close this, go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to unplug all the USB devices which I said. And afterwards, still if you're having the trouble, we need to perform a clean boot. Just go over here, search for system configuration. We need to search for the system configuration. Go over here in the services, go to disable all, Go to hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. Do a restart. Once a restart is done, try launch the key. Next one, it's all about what we need to do. Is we just need to disable the Steam overlay. Just go over here to the game, right click, go to the properties, go over here and we need to enable. If in the Steam overlay is enabled, we have to disable this, try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, we need to go over here and this particular step did help but many users. Just type DX11. Just go over here, type DX11. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12. If DX12 is not working, try with D3D2. Try these steps and if you're having the trouble 
and we can move to the next step. Even giving the commands to the launch option, if it's not working, we need to move to the next, next, next step. Before moving to the next step, remove everything from here, close this and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to close all the overlay and overclocking application. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the task manager. And right now, from here, we have to go over here and you can see that a lot of things running in the back now. So overclocking and overlay application is one of the reasons. So keep scrolling down, just go over here and we have to remove the Discord. Just go over here and go to the end of the task. Similarly, if you're having the Epic Games launcher, just right click over here, select this one and we have to select the Epic Games launcher and we need to end the task as well. So do the same for everything. So these things, for example, Epic Games launcher, all these things are actually affecting the performance while you are launching the game. So just remove all the unwanted things from here. Once afterwards, try launch the game. Still, if you are having the trouble, let's move to the next step. That is all about, we need to run the game or dedicate a graphics card. Just go over here, search for the graphics settings. Now click on this one. We have to go over here. Now from here, we need to add the game. Just click on add desktop app. Now from here, we have to go to this PC, go to local disk E, Steam library, Steam amps, go to common. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to Poppy Playtime. Go to Playtime Launcher, go to Playtime Launcher, binaries, Win64, select this one and we have to add. Once everything that is Poppy is added, keep scrolling down and we have to check where is it is added. So just go over here and check this. Now from here, GPU preferences, change this to high performance and make sure it is running on NVIDIA Geoforce RTX 1650. Close this, try launch the game. Let's move to the next step. That is all about what we need to do. We just need to increase the virtual memory. Just go over here, search for view advanced system setting. Click on this one. We do the advanced settings once again, advanced once again, go for change. Make sure this is blank, select the local disk. So we have to select the local disk E, go to the custom size. Initial size 1.5 times throttle RAM and the maximum size 3 times throttle RAM. So go over here, search for the calculator, click on this one. Now from here, go to 16 GB, multiply it with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 1.5, that is 24576. Copy this and we have to paste it. Make sure maximum size 16 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with three that is 14 and 152 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it so go over here give these values and try launch the game still if you're having the trouble we need to update the windows make sure the windows is up to date and also we need to update the graphics card so i'll be providing a link in the description to both nvidia and to the amd so the nvidia users go to this page select everything according to your pc's configuration and if you're on the GFO 16 series, you have to select this. GFO is 1650, Windows 11 and go for find. Right now, once you go for the find, what we need to do is you can just keep scrolling down and navigate to over here. Just go over here. And if the system is based on this one, you have to download this one. If you're on the AMB, just go over here, select everything, go to the graphics, select which one is your graphics cup. You have to select this, go for this one and go to the submit. We can download this. If you're on the Windows 11 with 64-bit edition, download this one. If you're on the Windows 10 and with 64-bit edition, download this one. We can also try installing the Microsoft Visual C++. So just go over here. If the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x86, download this one. Once afterwards, still, if you are having the trouble, we need to move to the next step. After the trouble, we need to go over here, go to the play tank, sorry, poppy play tank, go to manage and uninstall. And while you install it back, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk. You have to try either B or C. Next one, we need to verify the game file. So just go over here, right click, go to the properties, go to installed file, verify game file. So this will cross check every single file of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, this particular step will be working. So after this, you are fine with it. You can try launch the game. Still, if you're having the trouble, do let me know in the comment section so I can look to it and I can upload a video on this. And also you can truffle our website gamesthereas.com. So that's it. So once it's done, you can try launch the game. So this is gonna get almost it is get completed. So afterwards, most probably 
when you launch the game like this. If you try to launch the game, you can see it's all files are successfully validated. Just go over here and launch the game. When you launch the game, you can see you'll be getting an error. I think I'm getting an error. So I'll be making a video on this as well. So you can try launch the game. So still, if you're having the trouble, you can let me know in the conversations. I'll get back to you and also I'll make a video on this particular error as well.